Hi friends, I am Sitendra Bhatna. Today we will going to see how to invoke a Java function in your Mule flow. There are there are various way we will going to use invoke component to invoke a Java function in your Mule flow. Let we will start with a small demonstration. I will say file new Mule project. I will say Java function. Yeah. For runtime, you can select depending on your requirement. For me, there is only one runtime, so I will keep it 3.8. In your environment, there can be a multiple. So, okay, you can select one out of them. Rest of the setting, I will not going to touch. I will say next, next, and finally finish. First thing, I will drag and drop HTTP listener component into the message into the canvas region. I will configure it under general setting. Connect the configuration. I will click on Add button. I will keep all setting as a default. Not I will not going to touch anything. I will say OK. Path Java. I will say allow method post. Fine. Now next thing we need to define one Java function. So I will define one Java function which take two integer and it will return the addition of the two integer. So first thing you go to source main Java folder. Right click new. First, you need to create a package. New package. I will say my app dot mule dot package. I will copy this name. I will be requiring for the in future. Okay. So it was giving invalid package now. Not valid. So let me remove package. So you cannot give a package because it's a keyword. Fine. Mule dot app. I will. Okay, I will say finish. Just a minute. Okay. Now, next thing I need to define one class, new class. I will say arithmetic operation. I will say finish. Let me define the method. I have public int. Add numbers. We take two parameter integer a, comma integer b. I will say return addition of both argument. Save it. Just type a mistake. Now save it. In the next thing what you have to do, you have to define Spring Beans. Go to configuration XML. At the top of the flow, you can write spring beans. It's not. It's the beans. Let me correct here also. Now I will say under spring beans, you can have a spring bean. Let me spring bean will take two argument. Enter. It will take name. What is the name? So name is basically the object for your class. Before we, uh, name, I will give a class. What is your class name? My class name is my. I have to give a package name. Dot. Let me go to the arithmetic operation. This is my class name. I will go back. I will say dot class name. Now. What should be your object name? I will say no. E R T H O P R. No, I have given some object name. So I will copy it. I will be requiring for further configuration. So I will keep it here. Let me copy the method name also. I will go to the flow. The next thing, what I have to do, I have to invoke. I have to use the invoke. Let me show the message. What message we will going to pass? I will change it to post. We are going to pass this message. So this message contain two fields A and B. So we want the addition of both those both these two fields. Okay. So we have to pass this field to the 
method as argument. So first we have to do object ref. So what is the object ref? What is the object we have created while configuring the spring beans? This is my object name. What is the method? This is This is method. Now it has to, it have a two argument. How to pass a two argument? It is only, there is only one, you know, like only one field. You have to pass as a comma separated. So I will say has JSON A comma hash JSON B. You see, you can pass your multiple argument. What does method argument types means? See, it is basically, you, you can have a concept of method overloading. Here you can have a, you know, like, uh, Multiple functions with the same name, but the, you know, data type, you know, if you have a function called XYZ, it, it, uh, it has been defined two times in your class. But the data type, it also, both method contain, uh, you know, take two argument, like uh, two argument, but the data type is different, right? So here you can, you know, you, if you want to identify the correct method, which out of these two, which method you have to, you know, access. So, or execute. So, you can pass the argument types. Now, I will use logger. I will say sum of number is has payload. I will start my application. Let's wait while application is deploying. Okay, your application has been deployed. Now I will send the message. See what we got? Unexpected. This, but if you see logger, you can see the correct reason. Sum of the number is 50. We passed 2050 because why? Where the invoke Java function will return the object. We have to convert that into a string. So I will say object. To string or either you can convert object to JSON anything depending on your choice or I will say object to string I will save it fine again I will send the message I will go to postman then here now you can see the 50 Okay, now one more thing. Suppose you have one more class. I will say new class. In that class, what I have, I will say uh, string operations. I will say finish. I have one like a class. Under that, I have one method which is returning the string. And we are accepting one argument that is name. I will say public string hello world operation. I will say take one argument string name. You can say return hello world plus name. Okay, let save me this application. Okay, the difference you have to. Fine. Now you have to go to Spring. Let me copy this name. String operation. Okay, we will copy afterwards. Let me show. We, you know, we have defined a Spring bin. We have defined the object for arithmetic operation class. Now we want for a string operation. So what you have to do? You have to copy this. Spring bin. Instead of arithmetic, I will say string operation. Let me copy this name. Let me to copy. Package name is same. Just we want to change the class name. I will say control. Invoke. I will say str operations. Okay. Now problem is you have to close this. You have to close this, remove this. Fine. 
Okay, it's not a it's on the string operations. Okay. This is how you can you know uh, create the object for multiple classes. Now let me invoke again. I will go to this method. Yeah, okay. So let me go to the you know now what is our operation name? Object name. Wait a minute. One minute. S T R O P R. Fine. What is the ob uh, method name? Hello world operation. Hello world operation. But now it takes only one argument. I will say JSON name. Here I will just print out payload. Let me verify everything. If I have configured everything is, is correct. Invoke str open. That is fine. That is fine. Now I have to stop the application and enable it once again. Okay. Application has been deployed. Now what I will do, I will remove this, I will change the JSON message. I will say name I will send it a message. And no need of this argument. Just post it. Okay. So you can see in the logger, hello world or either what you can do is uh, remove this you can remove this I will say set payload and set payload I will say as payload let me save the application I will just say ok so This is how you can invoke a Java function in your Mule flow. Okay. So, if you like my video, okay, just subscribe the video. Uh, okay, and thanks for watching video. Hope you have enjoyed.